the argument for the Trinity that they're all three separate persons. It just takes one time. I don't need 20 verses. I don't need to prove it 20 different times. I need to prove it one time. I don't know if people don't understand that or what. Okay? But that's what it says. It says that him that sat upon the throne is the Almighty, which was and is, is to come, just like it says in Revelation 1 about Jesus Christ. It says that him that sat upon the throne created all things, all things were created by him and for him, just like it says in Colossians. Okay? Revelation 21 says him that sat upon the throne is the Alpha and the Omega, just like it says about Jesus Christ in Revelation chapter 1 three different times. Okay? How much evidence do you need to see that Jesus is him that sat upon the throne? I don't know what it's going to take. And look, you say, well, I don't understand. How does that make any sense? Great is the mystery of godliness. It's the mystery of, of the Godhead. Okay? This is not a milk of the word, contrary to what Pastor Anderson says. He can get up and spit and yell and scream all he wants. That's not true. Okay? <clears throat> now, there are a couple other arguments that, you know, Pastor Anderson brings out that aren't necessarily from Scripture, they're just kind of theological uh, and, you know, whatever else. And one of them is this whole, you know, in Jesus' name really just means in the authority of Jesus. <clears throat> and I, I was kind of surprised because he, he pulls out this argument, and there are a couple problems I have with it, but one of them, he says, he argues that, well, when, when they say in the name of Jesus, really they're just doing things in, under the authority of Jesus, in the authority of Jesus. And of course he got this from Brother Gary, he preached that like a year ago in the sermon. And I remember that sermon, that was very shortly after the, uh, the whole Sodomite protests up at uh, um, Pastor Hernandez's church. And... Yeah, he says, well, to do things in the name of Jesus is to just do things in the authority of Jesus, right? And I was really disappointed because he, he proved it with zero scripture. He didn't really use any scripture to prove it. And, uh, you know, he uses the stop in the name of love illustration and a whole bunch of different illustrations and a whole bunch of different, like, uh, you know, um, just ways to, like, demonstrate similarities between, you know, worldly examples and stuff like that. And, but no scripture to, to back it up. And I think that's really ironic because earlier in the sermon he says, we don't want, quote, we don't want to base our beliefs on illustrations. We always want to base our beliefs on what the Bible teaches. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. So let's look at what the Bible actually teaches. I uh, had a note on this. I lost it now. Where is it? Well, that's okay. <clears throat> Okay, here it is. The, uh, what the Bible actually says in uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 6, for example. So, you know, the, the claim is that when the disciples did, thing, did things in the name of Jesus, they were just doing...